All right, I have another dot principle for you today that I'm going to go through it. It's uh, going to be based on the book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. Um, and it's really kind of a collection of principles. The book is by Tom Venuto. Uh, you've probably heard of it. It's uh, a very popular book, and it's a great book. If you haven't checked it out and you want to go to Book Root, where you get a, a book, you try to put a plan together based on that and follow it, uh, this is definitely the way to go and uh, you'll see some great results from it. But um, he talks about lots of different things in it. Um, a lot of bodybuilding stuff and how bodybuilders uh, apply their nutrition in order to lose fat, get in shape, and uh, be in um, top peak physique for physique competitions. Uh, so a lot of information in there about utilizing diet, exercise, um, and nutrition in order to get the best results. If you look at bodybuilders, you can see how they're built. Um, and natural bodybuilders uh, go through a lot and put in a, a lot of hard work and effort. Now, all bodybuilders do, but natural bodybuilders actually have this, uh, physiques that you can aspire to get uh, with you know, natural ability and genetics um, as opposed to having to use um, some type of performance enhanced, uh, performance enhancing drugs. So, um, he gives a lot of good tips. Uh, natural bodybuilders are excellent resources as far as uh, ways to lose weight and get in shape um, and you know I've tried lots of different bodybuilding stuff before uh, bodybuilding routines bodybuilding splits uh, usually the workout uh, is not the best thing if you are looking for something that is uh, good for time uh, if you're looking for a quick workout where you get the biggest bang for your buck bodybuilding is not going to be the way to go but as uh, far as nutrition there's a lot of great stuff that uh, that they um, that they practice and a lot of good principles that they use. Uh, in this book, he talks about the most important things in it is what you eat matters, uh, when you eat matters, and the calories matter. So the principle is real similar to that in if it fits your macros, where your calories do matter. So you want to make sure that if you're trying to lose weight, you're in a calorie deficit. Also, is kind of similar to the nutrient timing, and he does talk about when you eat and making sure that you're getting the proper nutrients around specific times and what those nutrients are so that you're getting carbs to fuel your workouts and things like that. But he also talks a lot about what you eat and why it's important. So where if it fits your macros, you can eat, um, like I said, cupcakes or Twinkies as long as you're hitting your, your uh, macronutrients. This book talks a lot more about using the foods that you're eating to feed the muscle. So. Uh, if you're in a calorie deficit, you would have to make sure that you're getting enough protein uh, to repair your muscle and make sure that you're putting on the muscle and you're still losing weight by being a caloric deficit. So a um, lot of good stuff in here. And like I said, that's kind of the main principle is what you eat matters. And um, <clears throat> that's not to say that the other nutrition principles don't, uh, don't specify that what you eat is important. Uh, a lot of the principles will do that. But that's kind of the main thing in this is eat healthy foods. Um, and make sure that you're eating them at the correct times and that you're in a caloric deficit. Now, I think of all the principles that, uh, that I utilize and all the ones I'm going over with you, this is kind of the one that um, the plans I put together follow the most, uh, is you know, making sure that you're eating healthy foods, making sure it's almost uh, like a payload out, we can get into that uh, in the video, but nice, healthy, natural foods, one ingredient, um, because what you eat matters, then looking at the timing of it, and then making sure that you're in a caloric deficit. So those are uh, some things that this cover, and I look into all of that when I start structuring a program. But then I start to get into food preferences for people and uh, different things like that. So I do use a lot of the principles from this book, and uh, it's a, a great resource. So like I said, if, if you're wanting to go the book route, um, this is definitely where I would start. Check it out. Um, you usually find it pretty inexpensive uh, for value because it's been out for a while. It's been so popular. So check it out. It's great. It's called Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle.